Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning right now and we just got dressed and ready for the day and we are about to go run a couple errands. But before we do, we're gonna take some pictures right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Adam's already wanting to kill me because I'm taking forever. So I'm gonna get out right now so we can take a couple pictures. Yeah, you wanna take some pictures with mama? And dad, dad. And dad, dad, okay. Okay, we just finished up with pictures and Adam says that he got the shot. He changed like the f-stop on our camera. He was um, watching videos on YouTube this morning um, because our pictures were turning out like a little bit blurry. So he fixed that and he says that the quality is a lot better. So we'll see, I am downloading them to my phone right now. Um, we got a lot of questions about which lens we use. Do you wanna tell them? So we use the uh, 50 millimeter one point four and it's a canon lens and it's fixed the focal length's fixed so you can't like zoom in and out but it, it creates a really good blur background Ooh, i'm really bright um but yeah that's the one we use nifty 50 that's what they call it nifty 50 yeah. She calls Adam babe because that's what I call him. <laughs> He's right there. Has anyone tried this? I'm a pretty picky orange juice drinker, so we'll see if that's any good. <laughs> Bailey just got home from the park. <laughs> She's trying to cool down with the AC unit. Does that feel good? It's on your ponytails. Are we going swimming? <laughs> yeah, you guys. She woke up this morning walking. You did, huh? You want to show them? I don't know if she's going to be able to actually in her shoes. We'll see. But yeah, she just took off walking this morning. She was taking like three or four steps here and there and would just get over it and start crawling. She's been doing that since she was like 11 months, but now she's like cruising. Is your sister walking? Yeah, it's crazy, huh? You are. She's just doing it all by herself. Good job, <laughs> job hun. You're getting there, huh? She likes these things. Yeah, those are cool, huh? You beat your hand in there. Are you ready to go to the pool? Let's see, who are we gonna see? Hey, you having fun? Cool. Yeah. Yay, Shay! <laughs> she likes splashing the water. Woo. You gonna show me how you jump in? We just ordered Bailey a pink cake pop from Starbucks because that's what she said she wanted. And I look back and she's passed out. <laughs> you gonna eat it? I'll That'll eat it. Point. Yeah, I might eat it actually. No, when she wakes up she'll probably want it. She played so hard at the pool today. I got the new vanilla bean coconut milk latte and it's disgusting. Not good at all. Do not recommend it. It doesn't taste like anything basically. It tastes like coffee with like a splash of creamer. It doesn't even taste like vanilla bean whatsoever. Good 
keep going. Good job. Good job. Keep going. Okay, I just pulled up to Home Goods. We are back from the pool, obviously. I haven't even showered yet. I'm a hot mess, um, hence my appearance right now. But Adam's at home with both of the girls, feeding them some dinner and putting them down to bed early tonight. There's a couple things that I need at Home Goods that I did not get at Target the other day when Shay had her whole meltdown situation. Um, that catch-all jar is the main thing that I need here, and I think they will have a better selection anyways than Target did. Um, for the bar in our kitchen to put like sunglasses and keys and whatever else that we always drop on that counter and then it ends up being like a big disaster. Um, so I need to find a catch-all jar and then I need a better solution for my necklaces and my bracelets. I have this like, I don't even know what it's called, but it was from middle school. I think I've had it forever and it's on our dresser and it hangs all of my necklaces and bracelets, but Bailey and Shay always try and rip it down and then they all get tangled. So I need a better solution for that. And I think home goods will have something hopefully. And then I need a new hamper, super random, but I'm going to try and find that here too. So I'm going to head inside right now. This coffee mug is so cute. I'm trying to decide between this one right here or this one. I like that this one you can hold like your rings and it has a place for other stuff, but I kind of like the look of this one better. Okay, I just got home from Home Goods and I wanted to quickly show you guys everything that I picked up. I didn't get very much stuff, but this is the jewelry holder that I decided to go with. And then we needed a new spatula and I thought this one was so pretty. It's rose gold and marble, so it'll go perfectly in our kitchen. And then not like I need any more mugs, but I could not walk out of Home Goods without getting this. So <laughs> I picked that up too, it's so cute. And then we needed a shoe rack for our garage. And this one was like $7, it's super cheap, but it's for the garage, so I didn't really care what it looked like. Um, and super easy to put together. Adam just put it together for me. Um, but we can put some of the shoes that we have in our garage on there. And then this is the last thing I got. I wanted a catch-all basket that I could leave at the bottom of this stairs so that we could just throw whatever it is we needed to bring upstairs into the basket. And hopefully that will save me from making multiple trips. Uh, but that's everything I got at Home Goods today. Not a whole lot, um, but Adam's upstairs giving the girls a bath and Shay has been walking everywhere, you guys. Come here. I cannot believe that I have two toddlers that are walking now. It's so bittersweet. They're down for bed now, but I was holding on to every last little glimpse of babiness that she had left in her, and I was in no rush by any means for her to start walking. I loved the fact that she was crawling for as long as she did. I felt like I was not ready for two toddlers to be walking, but it's so cool to see her hitting all her milestones and to see her blossoming into a cute little toddler, but it's definitely bittersweet. But I feel like by the end of this week, she's gonna be full on walking, not crawling anymore. So I need to like mentally prepare myself for that. Um, it's a whole new ball game when they start walking. So I need to definitely prepare. But I'm gonna start editing the vlog right now because Adam is out running a couple errands. He needs a couple things. Um, clothing wise for the welding program that he starts tomorrow his first day is on Monday the day that you guys are watching this so I'm so excited for him and he's really excited as well I know he's really nervous I can tell just by his demeanor um, ever since he had his last day at work on Friday he's been kind of like on edge a little bit it's obviously a very big transition and today is the first day of like the rest of his 
future. So it's all very exciting but very nerve-wracking at the same time. But I know he's going to do so well and love his job because he's so hands-on. And he loves working with his hands and building things. So I feel like welding is a perfect career for him. So I'm so happy for him. Um, but I am going to edit the vlog right now so that when he gets home we can watch Handmaid's Tale. You guys, I'm so addicted to it. I feel like I've been talking about this show for the last like three vlogs, but it's seriously so good. And so many people that I know watch the show are able to watch it in like a couple days, but I have no time. So we are lucky if we could watch like one episode at night because by the time I'm done editing the vlog, it's like... 12 o'clock and we're so exhausted but lately we've been staying up to like one or two just so that we can fit in an episode because it's that good like it leaves you on the edge of your seat every single time after every single episode you're like ah, I want more so we always end up watching at least one or two so um, I'm gonna edit right now so that we can watch an episode tonight because we're on the last episode of season one we have one episode left before we start season two and my friend was DMing me on Instagram saying that season two is even more intense and the first episode of season two is probably the most gruesome. So I'm really curious to see what the episode's about. Um, but if you haven't started watching this series, you seriously need to. But I'm gonna quickly edit the vlog so that we can watch at least one or two episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Be sure to hit the bell notification so that you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.